to introduce the film. Please join me in welcoming Jane Schoenbrunn. Hi. Oh. I swear to God, people started clapping harder for me immediately after that Paul Schrader thing last week. <laughs> Um, I played in a, an online poker game with Paul Schrader that he, he was kicked out of um, <laughs> uh, for reasons I won't go into, but, uh, but um, he, uh, then like there were these, then he went online and complained about it. <laughs> but he was like, woke culture has gone too far. <laughs> and then these other people were like, you're right, woke culture has gone too far and invited him to their online poker club. <laughs> And then a week later, he got kicked out of that one, too. <laughs> um, but I truly don't know if he remembers me from it. Um, but uh, mad respect for calling me that. Uh, um, hi, I'm so happy to be here in Boston. I've been um, kind of nonstop. Uh, New York opening weekend was last weekend. And since then, I've been in Chicago, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, and now here with you tonight at the Coolidge. Um, I used to live like 15 minute walk away and I would come here and watch movies um, here. I once saw uh, the Buffy musical Sing Along here. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> it was a while ago. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Boston is like, in many ways, I had a bad film school experience here in Boston, but I had a good movie. Yeah, hell yeah, shout out. <laughs> shout out to wasting your money to get told that you're wrong in some ephemeral way that you'll never quite understand. <laughs> because you don't uh, conform easily to like shooting shot, reverse shot on a Bolex and you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, um, but I loved watching movies in Boston. I was talking <clears throat> with Beth earlier just about like um, being, yeah, like like this was the first city I lived in on my own, you know, and like just being able to like take the subway to watch a movie at the Brattle or go to like a program at the Harvard Film Archive or come here and see like weird zombie movies and shit. Like that was cool. That's like a good time. Um, and yeah, just this room is so gorgeous and it's really nice to be back here. Oh, the last little bit of housekeeping. When we do the Q&A later, I've started to say this at the intro because uh, basically like let's give first dibs to trans people for questions. Um, yeah, shout out to affirmative action. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I always say that like at the last minute and some dude inevitably like has his hand like high in the air and then when I say it he's like <laughs> so let's we now we won't have to get to that point and it, if you're a cis and you have a question just like you know if, if it the thing happens where no one you know it's silent for a little while feel free um, everyone is welcome here uh, <laughs> it's a very personal movie um, it's crazy that it's out in the world and like screening in rooms like this one. Um, it was made, um, I think pretty earnestly, um, and is just like an attempt to express something that, um, I don't think everyone can relate to, but, um, if you do, like, that's, that's why I made it. And if you don't, like, you had a really nice childhood probably. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I'll come back and talk about it, but I hope you enjoy the movie, and thanks for the Breakthrough Artist Award. That's not my signature. I, <laughs> I wish it was mine. <laughs>